so last week we talked about the shift in the housing market. Gary Keller hit on the technicals and we shifted the conversation and talked about the technology shift in the housing industry, both real estate and lending. And as we stated last week, how we buy, sell, and finance houses will be much, much different in the coming years. Now, we get a ton of comments and questions on the show and it comes through various channels, comments on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, emails, even on our actual site. And last week we received several and the common theme was basically this. Hey, we hear you already source and we get what you're saying, but show us the actual tools that we can use to help us adapt and thrive. Paraphrasing a bunch of comments, of course. So we hear you guys, we wanna address this, so we brought in one of the most technical guys in the industry who just so happens to work and mastermind with such tools. Optima Blue, HBM, Mortgage Coach, Dave's newest app, My Nest, Ellie Mae, Salesforce, Velma, and other top real estate apps. He works with the best of the best in the industry and constantly pushes the envelope to stay in front, and he's currently working with Darren Hardy to roll a new training platform called Insane Productivity. Dave, help us out. What does the modern real estate and lending experience look like today? All right, we've worked with the lending space to take them from app taker to trusted advisor. And now we're dedicated to doing the same thing for the real estate world. Most realtors in the past have been looked at as information sources, you know, searching for a home. We all know that that's not where it's at right now. It's advice. So let's help realtors become better advisors while at the same time continuing to do the same thing for mortgage professionals. So let's bring this down to apps. Before I start just listing out a bunch of apps that you need to have on your mobile devices, that your families need to have on mobile devices, let's understand the categories. And the way I see it, it starts with dreaming. You know, the industry and most people think it starts with search. No, it starts with dreaming. So what are the apps? It's the MLS search app. It's HomeSnap, very popular app. Estately, WalkScore. I hear from millennials all the time that use WalkScore because they're buying houses in urban areas and they want to know the walkability. My favorite app, My Nest, is our app. Dweller, Mint. You know, let's face it, when family's thinking about buying a home, they, can I afford that home? Do I need a budget to buy the home that I want? So Mint's a, a critical app for home buyers. So now let's start getting into the mortgage and the transaction. So transaction, you need to have a, you need to have a doc signing app. Sign Easy was mentioned in USA Today, same article that we were mentioned in. Our app, the Mortgage Coach app, considered the number one mobile app by USA Today. Dropbox, Dot Loop, you know, there's all kinds of pre-apps out there. So apps before you take a loan app, apps to take a loan app. And then of course, an app I see a lot that realtors are using in open houses is Open House Pro. Anything you can do to get more leads at an open house and to create mobile engagement in an open house, big win. So let's summarize at the beginning, it's dream in search, it's mortgage in transaction, and now we've, we're in the home. We need to move and we need to improve it. House is a great app. Sortly is a great app. TaskRabbit is a great app. And then of course, the most used app out there in the market by so many realtors and so many folks is Pinterest. So those are just some of the apps that you could be using in the marketplace today. Now Dave highlighted a bit of what the modern real estate and lending experience looks like today. Key word there being today. Let's continue to dream big and push the envelope on what's possible for our industry. We went fast, so check out all the apps that we listed today. And we didn't get a chance to list all of them, so let us know down below your favorite app and an app that we didn't mention today, and we'll see you guys next week.